All right, start a new recording. All right, so let's completely... F hey, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to Revolution Gaming. I'm Antonio MTG, <laughs> sponsored by Emerald Dragon Games. Go check them out at emeralddragongames.com. We're going to pretend like that first league never happened. This is the start of our stream for tonight. Oh, 1778ers has subscribed with the Twitch Prime sub for tonight. Our new subscriber in the revolution. Well, we have all the damn Aether Vials in the world. <laughs> Thank you for your subscription. You keep the revolution going. Yeah, thanks, brother. Alright, so I don't think three Aether Vials, Thalia Guardian, Thalia Lieutenant is actually a great hand. <laughs> but we do have Blood Moon protection. <laughs> so, let's see. What do we got? What do you think? I don't think this is great at all. Yeah, we definitely maul. Well, we got a Vial, we got a land. It's keepable. We don't have a turn one play. We can pitch like a reflector mage. Like our turn... I mean, we got a turn one vial. If we draw a land, it'd be great. I think we keep this. Pitch the reflector mage to the bottom. Keep double lieutenant. In vial we trust. All right, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're keeping it. Pigeon the mage. I made my decision. <laughs> All right, and we're on the play. So let's uh let's slam our good luck, have fun, and here we go. We're off to the races. League number two. Upkeep. Land on. We put it on illusion, or I guess if we get another one. No, we put it on human. What am I talking about? Let's not be stupid. Aether vial, go. Our opponent did not see fit to tell us good luck, have fun back. And we're about to get Allosaurus ridered. Yep, we are getting Allosaurus ridered. <laughs> He has land, we lose. <laughs> this is how this works, boys. <laughs> yup. Alright, 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 alright. Well, we'll just uh, do nothing and violin a champion on his turn if we don't lose immediately. Should have kept the reflector mage. Hey, don't think I won't. Don't think I won't. Summoner's pack for Allosaurus Rider. But we just lose right here. So. Oh, I will copy Gristlebrand in a heartbeat. Here's the Rider. There's the Neoform. There's the Gristlebrand. There's the Nourishing Shoal Part 1. Oh, yeah. Well, you see, LSV played it in like 45... Played a league in 45 minutes. And uh, went 4-1 in the league. So now everybody's playing it. You know, this deck was a thing and then it was not a thing forever and now it's a thing again. He goes gets Akadon Worm. He pitches it to Nourishing Shoal. He draws a billion more cards. So 
I mean, I've watched his vid on it, you know. I mean, I liked the deck. I was playing the deck before LSV played it. My buddy, uh, Alex, has it built. It's, like, really fun to play, but it's 100% glass cannon. So... 100% glass cannon. He's down to six cards, so he has to have the three spirit guides, plus the near form, plus the lab man. Or not near form, but metamorphos. Or Thassa's Oracle, which makes the deck... Oh, he has a lab man, so there you go. You win. Cool story, bro. Cool story. Uh, yeah. We have nothing. We just run back the same 60. <laughs> I guess we could bring in the dismembers and try to instant speed dismember his lab man. Graph Digger's Cage doesn't do anything. Oh, I guess it does. Creatures can't enter from uh, libraries, so he can't near form and go and search for a, uh, a Gristle Daddy. That seems good. Reflector Mage, Kessing's out. We're not going to out race him. Gaddick does top stop X spells, so that's st what's the X? Yeah, we're not racing that. Uh, what's he have that's X? Nourishing Shoal? Yeah. Yeah, so this is how we'll go. All right. If we can meddling mage, would you like to play first? Yes. So we are looking for not this hand. <laughs> yeah, we need a turn two answer. Okay, so meddling mage name an Allosaurus Rider. And we got the mana to cast it, so we keep. Put back an image. No. Put back a high arc. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to keep this. So basically we go turn one noble, turn two meddling mage, naming Alice Horse Rider, turn three image copying mage, naming... Nourishing soul. I mean, we'll we'll just make sure he can't cast anything. That's what our goal is right now. Yeah, Neoform. We'll name Neoform. Well, the first thing you name is Allosaurus Rider, cause his Allosaurus Riders can get ridiculously big and just kill us. So, really, we would like a. Oh god, he can kill us on turn one. He can literally kill us on turn one. If he has near form, Allosaurus Rider, and two green cards, he can kill us right here. Okay. Whew. So. I don't care about taking the damage. White, blue. Meddling Mage. Name Allosaurus Rider. this. Hey, nope. Don't you do that to me. Allosaurus Rider. Okay. Get in with Noble for one. <coughs> Excuse me. Noble Beats. That's right. Now we'll name... Wow. Okay. Uh, now we're going to name... Uh, Neoform and Eldritch Evolution. That's our, our what we're naming right now.
Yeah, we're naming copy you Neoform. And you uh no 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 All right. Eldritch. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, good. Whew. We're safe. There you go. That's how you beat this deck. <laughs> you just name everything in his deck. <laughs> Whew. All right. We do this again. <laughs> I forgot it doesn't target the copy, the the phantasmal image. It just says copy, so uh, this one is nowhere near fast enough. He just kills us on turn two. Yep, we got them all. Well, I'm deciding on what. Okay, so he moles to six. We're moling to six. All right. We got our turn two meddling mage for Allosaurus Rider. We're going to keep uh, Charming Prince to the bottom. Done. Here we go. Chancellor of the Tangle. No. 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 Oh, we lose. Look at this. Turn one. We lose. Straight up lose. Because now we Allosaurus Rider pits Chancellor and another green card and Neo forms it into Grizzlebrand and we we lose. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Alright, well we're F6, buddy. There is a chance that he did not hit because, you know, he had so many cards in his deck that he did not hit his Nourishing Shoal. There's a chance. Oh, he didn't hit it. Okay. Yeah, but he just gets to free roll it again next turn. And we're on a three-turn clock. So we need to draw a land, like, pretty serious to bounce this Gristle Daddy. If we can ba bounce the Gristle Brand, we, we can beat him. We just got to do it without him winning next turn. He had three spirit gods and a manamorphos to pay for Pact. Alright, if we hit a land and can bounce this Gristle Brand, he'll never cast it. <laughs> so we gotta make sure. So he has to whiff. Well, no, he can't beat us that way now. Because he can't make the uh, the mana. He has to literally beat us with Gristle Brand. We need a land. We need a land. It's what we need. Any land. 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 Not a land. Duh, duh. All right. Yeah, we're going to name Shoal. Uh, wow.
Alright. So we named Nourishing Shoal here. Never mind. Yeah, I didn't think about it. We should have copied its Grizzle. That's alright. We can copy it next turn. So... He, he, he definitely has the third land to cast the Lab Man. So let's name Laboratory Maniac. No, you name you name his win con. He has enough life, so he's at 27 life. So he has enough life to go uh, three, three times of 21. So that's what, 7, 18, 21. So he can draw 21 cards. Right. So we don't want him to pitch and have another shoal and just draw his deck and naturally cast Lab Man. Because he guarantees he has a third land in his hand. So next turn, we can Phantasmal Image copy Grizzlebrand. Or if we draw a land, we Reflector Mage, and we got Hope. So, so now his win con is like Thassa's Oracle. But we got to be able to deal with this stupid Gristle brand. We need a land. We just need a land in our 19 land deck. <laughs> we only got one land. Alright. Because we hit a land, he can't ever cast that Gristle brand. He'll never be able to cast it. Especially with all his gemstone mines in the side. So, clean up. Discards. Two cards. Uh, okay. Alright, alright, alright. We gotta copy the Gristle Dan brand now. We can't we can't afford to play this. So image. Copy Gristle Daddy. Gonna draw a bunch of cards unless he has like a remand in his deck, or if he has a uh, because he's looking either for Thassa's Oracle or Laboratory Maniac. If he plays them both, we're screwed. Pact of Negation works too. Well, no, because he can't pay for the Pact of Negation. He only got six cards, so he can't activate this again. And we can copy Gristle Daddy again a second time if need be. Cycling to Edge of Autumn. Yeah, trying to. <laughs> he has to get down to two for the Oracle Mill to work. So. Why not? Hiya. <laughs> so he can't activate Gristle Daddy again. So he has to have draw spells to draw him down to two cards or natural draws. So if we can Okay, that's fine. That's fine too. So what we'll do is we'll image mage copy I mean we may if we can bounce this Good God Almighty. Alright. Mage. Yeah, it's a 1-1 one, one counter. That's a problem. From Neoform. Alright, so. 
Yeah, I know uh, Grizzle is FYI. I'm talking about copying it a second time. So we need to gain a bunch of life when he attacks. Block. Once again, we're back to if we can draw a ref or we have the reflector mage if we can draw a natural land. Yeah, there's his lab man. Alright. That is not a land. Alright, we're back to phantasmal imaging of Gristle Day brand again. <laughs> Oh, man, if we only drew a land. Uh, well, here's the thing. So, we can spend seven life, go to four, hit a land drop, play another creature like champion and then we have blockers so one nope because we won't have enough blockers yeah we will so mage blocks rider champion blocks rider gristle brand blocks gristle brand and then we die anyway that's what I'm thinking we gotta do it so we hit the lands obviously we got all the reflector mages. So, we don't want to use that. So we want a ziggurat for champion. Right? Land vile? We can't block everything, we die. We die on board. We have to put another creature in. I have to drop a creature. Probably land noble. Yeah, we lose mage, but he already pitched his one lab man. So that's in the graveyard. I ain't worried about lab man now. Alright. So we go land noble. And next turn we can bounce the gristle brand. With a Reflector Mage. We'll clean up. Vile's worthless now. Gaddic T's worthless. Uh, Lieutenant. Alright. Yeah, we're going to lose the Mage no matter what. But we have to block this way. So, we're trying to survive. We need one drops. <laughs> That's awful. Alright, alright, alright. He's just attacking with Gristle Daddy? He's only attacking with Gristle Daddy? Okay. Well, we got to play a Reflector Mage. Yep, life goes on. Uh, Alright, we're at 11. We have five lands. So, we can go Champion. No. We can go Meddling Mage, naming Thassa's Oracle. And Reflector Mage, Bounce, and Gristle Brand. Alright. That sounds good. Alright, 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 alright. So. Blue. No, 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 no. Blue, white. Yeah, we're going to have to spend all the mana. No, this is bad. Because he can swing for five... So, if we keep the nobles up to chump and bounce this, then we only take three. 
and he has three turns and we can just like chump one but we we got to name oracle is the whole thing so i'm thinking we just we have to bounce the grits okay we got to do it all screw it what are we gonna do yeah you're right you're right all right so blue white Start here. Thassa's Oracle. And then blue, white, colorless, Reflector Mage Part 1. And we lose. Because he has a wild cantor to pay for the fifth mana. Wow. Okay. We can't. We lose. We lose to the Gristlebrand killing us. 11 gets through because we tapped down everything. 8 off of Gristlebrand and 4 off of one of the Murderous Riders. Because we can only block two things. So. Alright. 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 I mean, we put up a good fight. We put up a good fight. That's all I can say. Yep. I mean, he had... Uh, granted, he drew... The fact that he drew the four... Or three Simeon Spirit... Four Simeon Spirit Guides... And... A Manamorphose... I mean, it's not something that happens a lot. Because <laughs> I played the deck a lot. <laughs> uh, Too slow. What do you think? Oh, if we would have had after he bricked, if we would have had the uh, the the second land, you know, to reflector mage to Gristlebrand, we just win. Like he he can't beat that. So the fact that he got a Gristlebrand on turn one is broken as it is. Yeah, we'll keep. Just go Horizon Canopy pass. He's mulling to five. Ah, right, we got this. Too late. I done keep. I like it how we got... I mean, we got three lands. We can cast all of our spells. And he's mulled to five. Alright. Here we go. I am meddling mage something. I don't know what he's playing on a mold of five with a watery groove. So. I'm going to just name something in the dark. Uh, Allosaurus Rider. <laughs> this is happening, guys. We're naming Allosaurus Rider in the dark. <laughs> This is, this is happening right now. <laughs> oh, man. Oh! Oh, it worked! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta clip that. Somebody clip that. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm, I'm in tears. All right, so Gaddick T. <laughs> Excuse me. Woo. 
Uh, Graph Digger's Cage. Go down to Malcontents, the Manus Rider. <laughs> what else we bring in? Militia Boogler. <laughs> uh, let's bring in the Deputies. Uh, so our curve has went up. So we're gonna go down all of those. Uh, two, three, yeah. No. Uh, we'll be uh, we'll play dismembers on the play over the draw because we really need to get like turn one cage. It's what we're looking for right now. Oh man. Oh, I'm like, yeah, in the draw, because uh, we we won't even get like a turn. <laughs> the fact that we straight <laughs> straight up like screw it, I'm naming Allosaurus Rider. Boom! <laughs> you wanted, oh Giga, you gotta you gotta clip that for us, bro. <laughs> oh man. That was great. Woo. Oh, we mulligan. All right, we got to turn one cage. We're doing it. We're keeping. We're keeping turn one cage. Uh, we'll put back one of our mini mini lands. Put back this ziggurat. Oh man. Oof. Oh well, we're dead. We're dead on turn one. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh man. Okay, we're not dead. Oh, man. Oh, man, those meddling kids. All right. Whew. Alright, so... Whatever. Planes. Cage. Your go. <laughs> uh. Uh, I honestly believe that was the best <laughs> single naming of a meddling mage I've ever had in my life. <laughs> It'll never get better than that. I should just like stop, stop the stream. Good night, everybody. Go home. <laughs> I mean, he still casts out Al Allosaurus riders. Oh man, uh, cavern on human. Uh, noblest of high arts. Our other cavern will name Illusion. So that way we can guarantee we can get our stuff through. His uh, Pact of Negations. Or... We'll just do this. GG. GG. Can't counter it. Oh, we're about to go on a naming spree here. Oh, man. No, he could have brought in dismembers. Oh, oh, nice.
Oh, once we name like Neo Brand, <laughs> we're, we're just naming everything at this point. Neoform, that's it. Neoform. Eh. Oh, there's the slaughter pack. Oh, you can Alice Horse Rider now. I knew he had some kind of kill spell. He must have just top decked that, because why wouldn't he just slaughter pack me last turn? Unless he didn't have, like, everything. Oh, yeah, we're going to Reflector Mage the crap. Let him go ahead and do this. If He, he needs a land to Eldritch Evolution. There you go. All right, so he either wins right here... What do you exile? Alright. Alright. He can't go any more life unless he hit the Akadon. Damn it. He had one, two cards in hand. Now he's packing plus slaughter pack. Look at this. So remember, we need to name slaughter pack over Neo Form with our second image or our second mage. That's what needs to happen. I mean, he did have to use a spirit guide, so he has to have the other three. There's one. There's two. There's... Because he can draw twice and draw his deck, so unless Lab Man's the last card in his deck. Well, I didn't know about Slaughter Pack. Yeah. We will be naming Slaughter Pack on the second mage from here on out. Yeah, we should have done that. And that's my fault. I'll take the blame for it. He Morphos to double red, so I guess he has another Morphos. One card in hand. 34 in hand. One in his hand. Okay. You got it, cool dude. Bring in the dismembers for instant speed. Nah. We're, we beat him by naming his enablers. No, I was on the draw. I'm on the plate now. Uh, so, we know he has the Sinner's Deliverance. Turn 1, Cage. And turn 2, Vile. Well, we... Yeah, we can. You're right. What do you think, 70-78ers? We have three answers on curve. You're right.
Yep. All right. That's what we're doing. Because if we can... So... Just go island wild. In our curse of facing the same deck twice in a league continues. I'm greedy too, because if we can get Vile up to three, this Reflector Mage just wins us the game. And he can't counter it. So... Serum Pigeons. The Sinner's Deliverance. Not the Sinner's Deliverance. Blue. Serum Visions. That's what I thought. Yeah, no pregame, so... Well, they play like four Descenders Deliverances because they can cycle them if they don't need them, so... It's another way to cycle into the wind con. So... I mean, we're going turn two, cage. <laughs> yep, canopy cage. Okay. What of one drop? Hmm. All right. So that slows him down for at least a turn. This could be really good. He wants to try to go on the aggro plan and just okay 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 he's down to three cards need a way to block this allosaurus rider or we can bounce it with reflector mage i like that idea Yeah, bounce the rider. I agree, my dudes. Nope, that's it. We did it! Those meddling mages! <laughs> Hey, we got our first win before round five. Yeah! <laughs> oh, man. All right. On to round three. Let's see if we play Gristlebrand, number three. Hey, if nothing else, I'm getting really good at beating Gristlebrand. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm getting that practice in, that's for sure. Oh, man. I do want to thank everybody for, you know, hanging out for the double, double league stream tonight. Uh really awesome of you guys thank you for the subs from 1778 from the follow from stream team 3000 uh gigapon doing a great job as our moderator uh you guys are really what makes this stream happen it's the only reason i even agreed to doing a second league because normally my medication is kicking in because i have something wrong with my my uh C3 and C4 vertebrae which is why I'm getting an MRI tomorrow so don't worry I'm going to get fixed up but uh usually the medication is kicking in by now and I'm like starting to pass out but for you guys anyway you won the die roll alright do we blind name Allosaurus Rider again <laughs> I'm keeping this hand we got a turn one play we got Mantis Riders on turn two we got images to copy them we're keeping So, all 
Oh, we're keeping this all day. Chalice of the Roid. So apparently our guy has hemorrhoids. He's on a mold of four, so it's probably Alice Horse Rider again. <laughs> oh, you know it. Oh, in a heartbeat. If I see... If I see Botanical Sanctum or anything, we're naming Alice Horse Rider. So... I swear to God, if I play that deck three times in a row, I'm gonna... I'm gonna just lose my 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 sanity. What does he got? Okay, so what did Foothills? I named Bolt. Just straight up named Bolt. I don't know what it would be with that. I'd say we just. Name Bolt, yeah. Swing for one. Yeah, I mean, it could be Dredge. Uh, would Dredge mold a four, though? I guess he would, right? Needing, like, a enabler. And... Hmm. Alright, we're jamming Manus Rider. We're just gonna jam this Manus Rider and see what happens. If he bolts it, we should have named Bolt. Yeah, what if Foothills is difficult to pick a deck? Could be Ponza. We don't know. <laughs> huh. Huh. I don't know. I'm gonna bring in a few dismembers. I'm assuming with Wood of Foothills, they have, uh, bring in like the deputies. I'm assuming with, with Wood of, well, deputies dies to bolt, right? Yeah. Yeah, bugler over three meddling mages, four meddling mages. Yeah, we know it's not control, so that's a given. I'm assuming they probably have a pillage, and let's go down a lieutenant. All right, we'll try it like that. Not a lieutenant, but a guardian. We definitely know it's not control. He knows what we're playing. We don't have a clue what he's playing. Don't think I won't name Allosaurus Rider on every deck tonight. You think I'm joking? <laughs> I would. <laughs> uh. End of line, Allosaurus Rider. Got him. <laughs> Y'all think I'm joking? I will do it. I am not playing tonight. Remember tomorrow night, uh, starting around 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hopefully around 4 p.m. Don't hold me to it. I'm going to do my best to do it, but I got to get two MRIs, one with contrast, one without contrast, and I got to get a nerve adduction or test study thing. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Ben's in, or Gigapod's in, uh, in the medical field. He'll tell me if I'm saying it right or not, which I'm probably not. So there's three tests I got to have done tomorrow. So, uh... Pray to whatever God that you believe in or don't believe in. Play, pray to the spirits of the earth for all I care. Just hopefully everything comes out okay. Uh, but with that being said, I'm going to try to... I'm shooting for 4 p.m. And go until like 11, 11 tomorrow night. So if you want to see some uh, me mulliganing hands... We do have dismember. Uh... Into blind, I'm mulligan. Uh, if you want it, okay. This is a curve. This is a curve. Keep turn one, turn two, turn three. But we got to keep all three lands. So do we put the bugler down? Yep. That's what I'm thinking. What do you think? 70, 78 or So definitely uh you know keep me in your thoughts 
I guess, is the amorphous. Rider is a clock. All right, we're gonna drop the bugler. Even though we're up a game, I want to try to get to two wins. <laughs> if we're up a game, <laughs> so we got hope. Rebellions are built on hope. But we go turn one champion, turn two kite cell, turn three rider. And that's like a lot of damage. That's seven damage on turn three. All right, we see it. Could it be Jund? It's Jund. Hey, look, we got a bugler back. See? This is why you don't be greedy. Uh, all right. Yeah. Hopefully he don't have a second land. He he is on a mold to four again. He goes stomping ground, land, ren and six, and we cry. Okay. Oh, it is Ponza with Verdant Catacombs. Okay. That's a vial. We're not playing a vial. On human. We're not playing a vial this turn. We're play we're seeing what's in his hand. I mean we're sticking to our curb. I can play vile through a blood moon. I can take his blood moon with this kite cell. He has Megas of the Moon, see? And a, and a land to cast it. And you're right, I probably should have jammed Vile, but we're not going to talk about that right now. It's not John, it's Ponza. So we have literally played three Ponza decks now. And three Gristle Brand decks in two leagues. <laughs> ah, so here comes the Magus. Turns off all of our lands. At least I did bring in the Dismembers. So, Foothills, Foothills, Magus, Magus. He's left with a Pyromancer and an Unknown. We'll jam Vile. He's not going to block with this Magus, so... We'll start taking up Vile. We'll eventually get it to three. Unless we just die to his monstrous top decks. Which is possible, by the way. Especially since he has draw two here. Hopefully it's like two lands he draws. It is not. It's an Arbor Elf. Or Utopia's for all. That was one of his land cards. So he's down to one card. Come on, dismember off the top. We brought in three of you guys. Come on! You can do it. Gets in for three. Yep. Now he will trade the Pyromancer for the champion. Dismember or one drop that we can drop in with Vile to grow our champion. That would be good. Yes. Draw. That works. All right, so we go attacking. We vile first, so we get the extra trigger. So we get the exalted trigger. No, we want the exalted. If you don't block, we swing for four. I mean, we could swing for two in the air and just leave this back to block everything. 
but we're going all out, man. We don't, there ain't no shame in our game. He's down to nine. He swings for five. We're down to 12. And then we got Thalia coming next turn. All right, his other card was a Utopia Sprawl. What's his last card in hand? God, don't be, be an Inferno Titan, cause I might just literally poop on myself. Oh my goodness. Okay. Into a pillage. Oh, man. Alright, dismember off the top. I called for one drop. Damn it, deck, give me a dismember. If I hit a dismember, dude, this game is like over. One dismember. is all we need. Why we do... Oh, we do have Noble! We can cast our stuff! Okay, well, some of our stuff. Not all of it. But we're going to take a big swing here. We can Bugler. We can Thalia. Thalia blocks everything on his board by itself. Alright, we're taking the hit. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We'll go to 9. So he evens up the board. Or even a Plains. Basic Island, Basic Plains. Either one off the top. Because that's almost lethal. That'd be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. <laughs> one point short of lethal. Draw. Dismember. Ha! Ha ha ha! Ha! So, does that change anything? It does not. So what we want to do is Thalia. Swing with our Freebooter for two. Our Bugler? Really? Oh yeah, it's a 2-3. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Oh, Bugler.
Sorry. Uh. All right. So if we go all-out attack, it is lethal. So he has to block, but and bl like he has to block this no matter what. So block, block, block. Then he's left with just a Magus and this and a Ren and Six and no cards. I think we all out attack here and force him. Yeah, I'm doing it. All out. Go. Charge. Because this is vigilant, so. Niasa block. Yep, yep. Yeah, I know. So now he just takes the three. Granted, he can Pyromancer back two dudes on his turn. And he goes to two. So now, like, a Noble off the top is lethal. Uh... Uh, dismember off the top is lethal. I mean, he ha he's run. Okay, so that was his only card. He can minus Ren and Six and kill our Thalia, and then we just kill Ren and Six with Freebooter. Yeah, dismember, Kessing. Well, Dismember, yeah, Dismember is definitely lethal, because then we just Mantis Rider. Which, that just made our Dismember cost less. Dismember, Kessing Malcontents, or Noble High Arch lethal, because he's out of cards. So now he brings back two dudes with, uh, yeah, that. He can't. He's attacking. Well, I guess he has three blockers. We go to six. That's two, three, four, five, six. We block one. Go to five. Alright, come on. Come on. Draw me a dismember. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, so we attack him to one. Minus and Ren and Six does nothing for him. Oh no, it deals me a point. Is that anything to any target? So no, we got we got to kill. No, we got to kill Ren and Six. Cause see, here's the thing. He has two, three, four, five, six damage on board. So that's lethal. So if we attack one to the face, he goes to one. We can block the two two. Take one, two, three, four, five. So do we go? Four one ones block the champion against the Megas. He won't attack with Megas. Yeah, you're right. All right, we're going face. We are going face. Yeah, I forgot. I can actually block the Magus if he attacks with it. <laughs> we are going face. Yes, you are correct. I did the math at, like three times now. Because <laughs> I still think I'm wrong. But yeah, you're probably right. Uh, Y'all are actually right. Y'all are always right. I suck at this. So. We are dead to the removal. But he don't... He would have to have Dismember in particular. Because, like, Anger of the Gods to wipe the board doesn't work. If he attacks out... What we were dead to is a Glorybringer... <laughs> Uh, 
Okay. We blocked the Magus. We take four. He could have drew a bolt off the top. I mean, there's nothing we can do about that either, so. We have unlocked our lands. He goes to end step. Does he go to end step? No, he has another Magus, because that's just what he top decked. Alright, well, you die. So, you're out of cards. Nope, he's dead. GG. What a hard fault game. Yep, we go to one. Uh, I was like, oh, we can dismember. No, wait, wait. Let's just win the damn game. <laughs> We just attack all out, right? Yeah. Yeah, he was hell bent. How could I dismember? I was at one one life. I couldn't pay the double black. I couldn't pay. I couldn't. Ah. All right, round four. Round four. We're somehow we're somehow clone and scratching our way back in. <laughs> of course, we draw the dismember. All right, we name Allosaurus Rider. Let's go. <laughs> uh, all right, this is better. Turn one, Vile. Turn two, High Arc Lieutenant. Or turn two, like, Meddling Mage, if need be. All right. Uh, I really think we put the Guardian back. Keep the two lands plus a high arc. The greed. I mean, technically, we can ship like the canopy. Yeah, let's put that back. I agree. Are we on the play? No, we are not. We're getting thought seeds, though. Goodbye, Aether Vial. <laughs> We're playing against Shadow. <laughs> Alright, 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 alright. We named Fatal Push with Meddling Mage. <coughs> oh, this is such a tough matchup, too. Rip Vial. Scry Bug. Vial on top. Vial. Not a Vial. That's a good card, though. Uh, yeah, sure. On human. Rip dead noble high arc. Yeah, it's a good matchup. You didn't have a turn two play. What are we meddling mage? What are we meddling mage in? Yeah. Let's meddling mage. Uh. Fatal push. Fatal push seems good. Or bolt. Lightning bolt. Push or bolt. Straw pull. Push or bolt. <laughs> push it is. We got a we got another mage for a bolt. So, I mean, I don't know what's in a death shadow deck. I 
mean, this is Grixis Shadow. And I'm helping him turn on his Death Shadow. Because I got my trap card. Okay, my trap card did not work the way I wanted it to. Huh. Huh. Well, screw you two. I no longer have my trap card. He has another Snapcaster. Why not? Into a Thought Seize. Why the hell not? <laughs> Probably takes some age and stops me from naming Death Shadow. Okay, well, we're naming Death Shadow, boys. Oh, baller. We are naming some Death Shadow. Where are you at, Death Shadow? How do you spell that? Is it two words? How do I spell Death Shadow? I don't know what I'm trying to spell here. Is it Death? There we go. All right, we're naming Death Shadow. Death Shadow. MTG Tony, what's up, buddy? <laughs> Man, I, I don't know how to spell these stupid cards. I swear to God, if I get lightning bolted here with his three cards in hand. Yeah. <laughs> we shot that name, Snappy. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. If you don't want a reflector mage... That's a good card. Okay, white, blue, red. That puts on a clock. And then we got this reflector mage for a Gurmag angler. That seems pretty good. That's been Law Clutch Lurker. I know. MTG Tony's over there just lurking on us. <laughs> His snappy boy can't attack now. Uh, no, they generally run them sideboard. Two in the side. At least the, the list that I played. Ran two on the side. Alright, we got there. Alright, so. What does Death Shadow play that we need to be worried about? <laughs> what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Pine or modern. This is what uh, Grixis Death Shadow, so. So, K Command, Collective Brutality, Ashiok Dream Render. Alright, so, because of the K Commands, we know he's bringing those in for Aether Vials. It only plays, generally plays one in the side. We want the Oriok Champions. I think those are really good. Uh, take out Melee Mage, even though it seems counterintuitive. They board into hard control. Lily of the Lasso. Yeah. I agree. But we can always name Lily. So we'll take out 
one, two meddling mages. We'll bring in the deputies. Uh, cause they can hit a death shadow and light multiples. Uh, dismember takes Gurmag Angler. So, four cards. If we had to pull four cards, casting Malcontents can be crazy in this matchup. Yeah, let's go down a couple images. Maybe all the images because of Liliana. I think that's right. I think this is right. All right, all right, we're gonna try it like this. We'll try it. We may get there, we may not, who knows. All right, so he's on the play. We got this malcontents that can be retarded. Yeah, yeah, we're keeping. Alright, so we go turn one vial. I don't know why I like to paint myself so much. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely turning into control. So turn two lieutenant violet noble. That seems like the right play. Yes. So, yeah, Lieutenant Violet Noble. On human. Uh, white. Lieutenant. Trigger. Activate. Yes. Noble. Trigger. Trigger. Pass the turn. Next turn we can go Lieutenant. Trigger on the stack. Violet and Oriok champion. <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. Oriok is going to be a clock. We're going to go Lieutenant Violet and Oriok. If he wants to kill our stuff right here, go, have all at it. I am on Discord. I thought. Oh, no, that's right. <laughs> uh, here. Yeah. I forgot. The power outage kicked me off Discord. Yep. No blocks. Ah. Boo. Boo to Thoughtseize. Get it out of here. Get it out of the format. Nobody wants to see that. What do you take, buddy? What do you take? Because now we go casting Malcontents, Violin Lieutenant. No, wait. Two, three, four. Swing for a bunch. Seems good. Uh, here. What's up, buddy? What do you take? My Oriok Champion into a Death Shadow? So he can grow his death shadow to like a 4 4. We want this on 2, yes. Alright, 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 alright. 
So champion, violin, lieutenant on our attack when he goes to. Cr oh yeah, this is gonna be good. All right. So human. Yeah, on human. I don't know why I was thinking so hard about that. One white. Champion. Activate. Yes. Lieutenant. No, I, I'm a, I know, but I'm doing it my way. I am doing it my way. Yeah, I should have done it during attacks, but I'm doing it my way. We're attacking for six. You know why we're attacking for six? Because that means our casting malcontents is lethal, and it stops him from cracking this. That's why we did it my way. We could also crack this and hope to get another creature. And we can play it off Noble. Yeah, let's do that. Ah! Okay, well that's good next turn. Begin combat. Uh, attack. Because that's six. So if he cracks this to block with Death Shadow. Now he goes to six. And now our Malcontents is lethal next turn. Because we can thaw you. Thaw you on the stack. Violent Malcontents kill him. Unless he has another Thought Seize. And then we just swing out and kill him. So... He could have a team or battle rage, but I have blockers that are big enough. Yeah, I know. We, I'll throw everything in front of it and kill him with a 5-5 five five and a malcontent. <laughs> he has four cards. So... <coughs> hmm. All right, so this is this is where we're at. If we block with Noble, block with Champion, then he tramples over eight, nine, block with Thalia here, so that's trample over eight, plus, that's 11, plus three on a bolt. If he, he would have to have double bolt to do it that way. No, because this is, he's swinging for lethal. Right now, if we don't block, we have to triple block everything. Then, no matter what he plays next turn, I don't care. Because we just Lieutenant casting, because he's going to sack fetch. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. So, we're going to block here, block here, kill this. He tramples over eight. Plus 3 is 11, so we'd have to have double bolt to kill us. 
If he has double bolt, you got it. You win. If you have nothing, we win. You have nothing. Alright, what's your follow-up play? Don't care. You lose. Well, now, technically, you don't lose. But we can get rid of this Death Shadow. We can Thalia plus casting Malcontents and get rid of this Death Shadow. And take him to three where you can't crack that. And then we have a blocker. Oh. Oh. Getting ballsy. Now that's a problem. I mean, we had we had to play around Team or Battle Rage. He knows we have Kessing, so. Yes. On oh, human. Okay. So now we got to vile, vile. So that's seven. Uh, we can take him to two. Yeah, I, I pass through it. But it doesn't matter because Salya is a chump blocker at this point. If he has team or battle rage, we just lose. So. But we can. Take him to two. If we attack with our big Thalia, we lose. But this will stop fetch shock shenanigans. Rider off the top does win. He's going to, if he attacks out, we have to block two things, the two shadows. Take the five from Germag and hope we don't have Team or Battle Rage that we played around last turn. He does. Unreal. Alright. I mean, we we had to block both. So, that's why I like meddling mages over like dismembers. Because if we could have named Team or Battle Rage there, then we draw. Yeah, he just had everything. <laughs> so, uh,. Yeah, Bugler. We'll go down. I want to keep one meddling mage. Alright, no meddling mages. Like, if we had a reflector mage, we win. If we would have drew any of our flying aggro creatures, we win. Alright, we're going to go with Bugler. Yes. Alright, see? This is the kind of hand we need. I mean, this is as fast as we can get right here. I mean, short of a vial. He kept seven, too? Jeez. Uh, human. Okay. No, he probably has, like, Fatal Push for our champion. He don't care for beating him down. Because all we're doing is helping him get to shadows. 
take the three, fetch, sack, kill it. Huh. <laughs> but I want him to get the shadows now. Yeah, we just named Wizard. For Don Claim. See? Told you. Helps him get to Shadow and kills the champion. I may be bad at playing the game, but I know how the game works. Yeah, exactly. But now he just Death Shadow and we Reflector Mage it. Yeah, we just reflect our mage. That sets him back two turns on a shadow. This reflector mage becomes like an actual clock. Deputy of Detention is a wizard. Yep, yep, yep. He goes to 10. He goes to 7. Thought scours himself. So he's trying to get a Gurmag. He's a... Well, this is creature type. So, creature type is wizard. He's a Videlkin wizard. Yep. No, he's just trying to get things in the graveyard to Gurmag Angler. And then we reflect our mage it. <laughs> We're like just reflect our maging everything at this point. <laughs> then we militia blue blue blue. blue. <laughs> Depends on what he, what he plays this turn. If he plays nothing, I'm assuming it's a Gurmag. Or Thought Seize. But no, it's taking too long. It's a Gurmag. So. Vile. So, Horizon Canopy. White. Blue. Oh, wait. Undo. White. Colorless. Blue. Mage. Yeah, we took out the images. So we're going to bounce that. We're going to play this Aether Vial. And then we're going to bugle our next turn and hopefully we kill him. We're taking him to five. But he's going to have a really big Death Shadow. He may have a Fatal Push. Which I think he does. Yes, he does. What a prick. <laughs> well. Alright, he gets a Death Shadow. And we get another Bugler. And look, he can almost cast his Gurmag again. Death Shadow, Death Shadow, Death Shadow. We need to draw our Videlkin Deputy of Detention. Yeah, he can't cast a Gurmag, so he has to go Death Shadow. I mean, we're, we're putting up the best fight we can in the face of a 6-6 six, six Death Shadow. So. Yep, 
Yeah, we're playing Bugler. We need to hit something good off this Bugler. Like a Mantis Rider. Uh, okay. Reflector Mage. Oriok Champion is a real clock. <coughs> we don't have Deputy. Yeah, it can't. So, we can get Reflector Mage and bounce his Death Shadow again, swing for whatever. We get the Mage and bounce his Shadow again and swing. Yeah. I mean, is that what we're doing? Y'all tell me. Because in my world, my world says get Oriok champion. <laughs> and just start swinging with Exalted for as a 2-2. And gaining a life every time they, like, the Gurmag next turn, Oriok gets through. Well, the thing is, he can Gurbag next turn. He has some mana. Mm. Alright. We're doing what y'all say. Y'all... Y'all the smart ones. Or just keep tempo in him. He can't kill our reflector mage. This is three. Oh no, we kill him next turn. Even if he if he only Gurmags, we kill him. If he has Snapcaster, we don't. Because this is going to take this at three. Takes him to four. So if he only has Gurmag Angler, we can swing for six. Yeah. Or Bolt. Bolt helps him too. <laughs> so now we Gurmag Anglers. And we need some top decks. Oh man. You know what? It's pro that. <laughs> Oriok champion. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> we brought the damn things in for a reason. But, no. In all honesty, though, 1778's, uh... Uh, Oriok does still get trampled over by Team or Battle Rage. So... Yeah, we're putting ourselves in a position to win. So. Like, if we top deck a Mantis Rider, then we're doing really good. Because that's two turn clock. Rider off the top. Rider plus crack it for image. Oh, we took the images out, didn't we? Yeah, they're all right here. Never mind. Forget I said that. Well, we only got one reflector left, so <laughs> we only got so many. So here's the Gurmag Angler. Deputy works too. Oh, collected brutality takes out our noble, which now lets him Gurmag for one. the fuck yep all right all right all right and he goes to nine this ticks up to two
Well, yeah, I think he's going to try to snap bolt, too. Alright. I said always yield. Yes. Alright, so let's uh, crack a canopy. <laughs> Bugler's nice. Bugler's nice. Uh, this, this, and this. Bugler. There you are, my sexy little man. Whatever. Man, woman, whatever. We're violent on their turn. But now it's a nine turn clock instead of a one turn or three turn. <laughs> Do we take it up to three? I mean, we got counter spells for days. Or protection from counter. Do we want to leave it on two or three? <coughs> yeah. We'll go to three. All right. All right. Um, yep, we're going for it. I breaked into 20 land deck by drawing lands. Show did. Here's the snappy to kill our Oriok champion. Wow. Yeah, I didn't think about it. I didn't, wasn't, I was tilted on this stupid draw in an Aether Vial in our land, in our 19 land deck. So. I'll take five. Manus Rider wins. All right. He has two cards. Red, white, white. No, we need blue, don't we? Blue. All right. Alright, well he has to draw. He only has two cards, so he has to draw Snap Bolt. He goes to four. Alright. Nine. So we just block. If you got the... If you got a Battle Rage, you got it. Unflippin' believable. GG. I mean, dude just had the fucking butternut. Excuse my language. He just had the butternuts the entire, both games. Whatever. Whatever. So, uh, starting to get a little hoarse here, but going into our fifth and final round, I want to thank everybody for hanging out. 
Uh, King Mugtit 701 with the follow 1778ers with the Twitch Prime sub. Stream Team 3000 with the follow all the way from Germany. Uh, just thank all you guys for coming out, hanging out with me tonight, sitting through two leagues at 12.30 in the morning. We're keeping this at its aggro. I don't care. I'm keeping it. I don't want to hear nothing. No, we weren't alive. We were very dead. We were very dead. <laughs> oh! Meddling Mage on Allosaurus Rider! <laughs> That's it. Cavender Souls, David Human, and uh, Champion, Medley Mage on Allosaurus Rider. Don't kill me on turn two, pal. Don't do it. Don't you do it. There's the Serum Vision. Nope, nope. He molded six. We're doing Horizon Canopy, Meddling Mage. Yep, Meddling Mage on Allosaurus Rider. Matter of fact, we're making sure this doesn't get countered on human. Blue, white, Meddling Mage. On Allosaurus Rider. <laughs> yeah Hercules 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 <laughs> ooh, ooh. Okay Oh man uh, but well, we know what to bring in. <laughs> it's four cards. We bring in four cards. We take out those guys, and that's it. <laughs> uh, Cajun, Tegan. Oh, and dismembers, yeah. Take out the Malcontents. And, uh, follow your guardian. <laughs> Alright. Nope, we're good. We're done. We're doing it just like this. Alright, alright. We got our, we got our meddling mages. <laughs> we keep. <laughs> hey, oh man. Hey Giga, we need a we need another clip <laughs> to the scoop of meddling mages. Several visions for our opponent. <laughs> We're just gonna make a YouTube <laughs> a, a YouTube replay of nothing but Gristlebrand scoop into meddling mages, naming Allosaurus Rider. All right, well he can actually kill us next turn, so uh, land. Green, Noble High Arc. Let's go. <laughs> Meddling Mage on Allosaurus Rider and the Meddling Mage on Allosaurus Rider. That's where we're at right now, boys. Oh, never mind. We lose. All right. We need to be on the play. I mean, maybe not. Maybe not. He can whiff. He only has one card in hand, so most of his stuff's in his deck. He only gets two activations of Gristlebrand. So it's only 14 cards. Oh, never mind. We lose. Oh, man.
man. Yeah, it's two more activations. Thanks, LSV. I'll just send a message to LSV. Who is hot poised ant freaking stinking? What is that? Is that your? That ain't you, is it? I'm going to save this highlight. Nope, nope. Oh, whoa. Stop, stop. Alright. Alright, well, he's out of cards, so... He can't draw anything else. Oh, man. <coughs> We won! We won! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I don't know what happened. I don't know how that happened. Oh. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, weirdos and nerds of all ages, we have officially played a league with three Gristle Daddy decks in it, so... <laughs> Yeah, we almost four one. We should have beat uh we should have beat the Death Shadow, but it is what it is. So we're gonna open up this chest tonight. Uh we're gonna go through the wrap up. So our first league, we went uh Owen or whatever. Owen four one and four. And didn't do too well. And then our wonderful chat over here with seventeen seventy eighters and uh, a few of the other guys. Uh, like Gigapon, Anivis, Keen Mudkips, uh, MTG Tony, uh, Stream, t Stream Team 3000. Uh, they came together. We put together a new human stack. And we ended up going 3-2. Probably should have beat Dead Death Shadow. There may have been some play mistakes that I made in there. Uh, but it is what it is. I mean, at the end, he had to have a team or battle rage or he loses. So, we'll... Uh, so we're going to open up our one treasure chest. I really feel like this deck deserved more treasure chests, but I just don't have like money to buy them like Saffron Olive does. So, but let's open it up, see what we get. Then we'll go into our closing of the stream. We get 25 play points, so $2.50 and cream of the crop. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under control, you may look at the top X cards of your library where X is that creature's power. If you do, put one of those on top of your library. That has got to be a horrible card. <laughs> That's just a straight horrible. Like, what's that, uh, that one from, uh, the green colorless is played in, like, the Boggles deck? Anyway, whatever that card's called, I can't think of it right now. It's way better. It's scry, and then if you cast something that targets a creature, you draw. So, anyway. Uh, so, anyway, 1778ers, honestly, thank you for the follow and the subscription. It helps keep us going here because this is expensive, like Mana Traders is expensive. So, everything that comes in, I put right back into the stream. So, I don't keep none of it for myself. Uh, and it also goes to, like, our giveaways. Anyway, so everybody that followed... Anivis, thanks for hanging out all night tonight. Uh, with that being said, remember, guys, during this time, it's hard on everyone, especially being quarantined and being alone. So take care of your mental health. Take care of your physical health. Uh, keep watching me on stream. But in all seriousness, also look out for your friend, your neighbors and people like that. Call, check up on them, see how they're doing. Uh, sometimes just hearing a friendly voice because they've been stuck in a house for days upon days upon days without being able to leave. It's just enough. Uh, call your family. Video chat with them. Do whatever you gotta do. Just stay in touch with everybody. Uh, we are coming through this. We will get through this because we're Americans. And that's what we do. It's we get through shit. That's just the way it is. So, 
with that being said support your local game store so that way whenever uh this this bs is over with we have a place to go back and play and if i'm ever in your city let me know i'll be more than happy to come and suck at magic at your local game store too that's gigapon i'm antonio mtg peace love and chicken grease guys because we're out of here thanks anibus